It's the only program of its kind in the whole of the United States, and it lives right here in Las Vegas. Uh, you also know you're doing something right when the mayor proclaims that the uh, November 12th is a day named after just you. I'm talking about our friends, Portastic Friends, a nonprofit who've been working with local animal rescue since 2012. And founder Michael Novelli is here with me today. Michael, how are you doing, my friend? Good, buddy. Thanks so much for having us back. It's we greatly pleasure. appreciate you helping us spread the word on what we do at Portastic Friends. Well, we love having you here, but before we get on to Portastic and what makes you guys unique, can we, can we talk a little bit about this? Yes, I'm sure Joanne <laughs> would like for you to talk about that. She's done a lot of great work. Joanne Downey's done great things for us, and it's one of the things she made happen. How, how does this happen? I mean, because the mayor has not called me up yet to give me an Elliott Bamber day. So how does, <laughs> how does this proclamation happen? What was the process? Who reached out to you? you know, what, what goes on? Joanne, who's been doing a lot of work for our upcoming event at Hope for the Holidays, reached out to the mayor's office and told them what we were doing, how we were changing lives here in Southern Nevada with the rescue dogs. So... We're pretty excited about that. That's a that's a big thing to have a Portastic Friends Day. So so you know with Portastic Friends, of course, I mean obviously you guys have been recognized with this, um, and you've been around since 2012. Now originally you guys started off as doing like a Tuesday video thing, right? Going to the rescues, raising awareness for all the you know the, the great doggos that are there that need to need to find a forever home, and that got garnered a big following. And you guys have kind of morphed since then. So. From where the videos start of you guys just doing weekly videos, how did it change and what was the impact and what, what made you say, you know, we have something that we can, we can provide and we can, you know, com contribute towards this community? So when we started doing the videos back in 2012, we wanted to show the personalities of the dogs as opposed to just seeing a picture of them in the newspaper tied up to a leash and say, adopt me. So we started doing the videos and then we saw these dogs sitting in the kennels and we're like, we have to become dog walkers. Melissa, my wife, says, we have to become dog walkers. These dogs are sitting in their kennels four or five days. Then there was a place called Smarty Paws, not too far from the shelter. We started sending them for enrichment training. Then other people started giving us money for enrichment training, and we did the videos. Then we started renting places for the dogs to do enrichment training. We paid the trainers. Then we founded our nonprofit in 2016, and we opened our building, our facility, our Potastic Friends Enrichment Training Center for Dogs two and a half years ago. It's 5,000 square feet. We train over 52 dogs a week. We've had 636 dogs adopted through the program, and it's all nonprofit. So we talk about enrichment training, and there are plenty of people out there, I'm sure, who know, you know, they train their dogs to sit, to heal, to roll over, that kind of stuff. What, what, what is enrichment training? What's the core foundation of it? Helping the dogs have a better life. A lot of these dogs are living in the kennels, and basically it's a jail. You know, we're overpopulated with dogs here in the Southern Nevada community, so we're doing everything we can along with the rescue organizations here to help the dogs. The dogs, when they come to the Potastic Friends Enrichment Training Center, it's like doggy Disneyland, my wife calls it for them. They get there and they know when they're close to the building, they get excited and they come there and it's a way for them to release their energies, to have fun, to enrich their lives. That's exactly what we do. We've had some dogs come in, they were so stressed in the kennels, they've come in and they just went to a bed and they slept for an hour. If that's enriching the dog's life, fantastic. That's what we're about changing lives and saving lives. There, there's a misconception as well, and, and I encounter this everywhere, that people think that rescues and uh, animal care control facilities are just full of dogs that have been dumped. It doesn't always happen like that. It can be a number of different things from landlord issues. It can be someone you know suffering a death in the family, right. uh, relocation, loss of earnings. It's not just people who don't want dogs anymore. So these dogs have come from loving homes. Correct. And a lot of them can't handle being in a facility like this. They've never experienced it before. So your enrichment program enables them an escape and energy release, like you said. What, what, what else makes your organization unique? Well, we're the only nonprofit enrichment training center in the country. And helping these dogs become better, becoming trustful to people, because some have been abused, some have been abandoned. You know, trust and building confidence is a huge thing for these dogs. Because like you said, they're in the kennel and they're like, I was just in a living home. Why am I in a kennel now? What did I do wrong? So our Potastic Friends helps change lives and helps improve lives. That's why it's called the Enrichment Training Center for Dogs. How many organizations do you work with locally right now? Right now we have 26 that are signed up for the program, 52 dogs a week. Wow. We train every you, day. You guys have an event coming up this week, yes. a big event. Huge. Let's talk about that. So the Hope for the Holidays event is going to be at the Potastic Friends Enrichment Training Center. It's 2200 East Pamela Lane. We're near the airport in Sunset Park. It's from 10 to 4. 36 vendors, food trucks, entertainment all day. We've got a lot of local celebrities coming out, giving their time because they're animal lovers to promote what we're doing and to spread the word because we're all in this together. The dogs, we're their voice. Right. 
And this is the thing, guys, coming out this Sunday, uh, if you go there, uh, you're participating in having fun. There's, you know, the people are going to go and eat, drink, have fun, yes. be entertained. This is not some kind of hard-hitting, like, sub story. No. Or, like, you know, like, some, sometimes no. these, this is, go out there, have fun, eat and drink, and everything you eat and drink and participate in, you're helping raise money for, for more dogs to be, to be, you know, given that enrichment training. And it's a free event, and there's free parking, which everybody here likes. Free parking, <laughs> free event. You guys don't need more of excuses. In fact, you have no excuses. So if people want to find out more on, on how to register or how to go and find the event, what's the best way to find you guys? They can go on to pawtasticfriends.com. Com. They can check us out on Facebook, Instagram. We're always looking for corporate sponsors, individual sponsors, because running a 5,000 square foot enrichment training center a is money. It's a lot of money, plus yeah. the 52 dogs a week. But you know what? My wife and I, we work full time. All of our volunteers work full time. And we all do this as volunteers because we do, want to change lives. You guys do great work. Congratulations on the day. Big fun this weekend. Check it out. Again, for more information, visit portasticfriends.com.